Hi, my name is Humongous Contortus, and I'm a nematode in the Trichostrongylidae family. But you can call me Barber's Pole because of my striped appearance. I get it from the spiral pattern of my white ovaries alternating with the blood I've eaten that you can see through my transparent body cavity. You could find us chilling in the rainy regions of New South Wales and Victoria. Some worms dream of living in a mansion, but my humble abode is within the abomasum of a sheep. Us Barber's Pole worms mainly like to live in sheep and goats. Our favorite hosts to mess with are the young and immunocompromised. Let me tell you a little about myself. My mom and dad met inside a sheep where my mom laid thousands of eggs that were pooped out shortly after onto the pasture. In the feces, I developed into an L1 larva, then an L2, and finally into an L3 larva. Sadly, I was stuck in the dry feces for days until the summer rain came pouring down and released me and my buddies onto the pasture. This is when I finally became infective in Motel and could accomplish my dream of getting eaten by a sheep. After a long journey, we finally reached the motherland, the abomasum, where we could unsheath and enter the abomasal glands and molt into L4 larvae and adults. The coolest part about being an adult is you get to feed on blood. The best way to get blood is to pierce the mucosa of the gut with a bunch of buddies until you create a hemorrhage. We like to have competitions on who can drink the most blood. We've been here for weeks and it's been great, but I overheard the farmer talking and he seems mad. He said the sheep have pale mucous membranes, have been weak, listless, and have reduced productivity. Several have even died. The vet came out and used big words saying that the sheep have acute hemorrhagic anemia, hypoproteinemia, and submandibular edema. Oh no, what's that noise? I think the sheep has been drenched. Ah! I'm now talking to you from beyond the grave. Those mean vets were able to diagnose the sheep from my baby's eggs he found in a fecal sample. He said that my sheep had acute hemonchosis. The vet recommended Clacental, a long-lasting drench that is used less frequently to reduce the risk of resistance to anthelmintics. He is also teaching the farmer to use dung beetles to expose the L1 and L2 stages to light so they dry out and die. He talked about using rotational pasture management so other worms don't even get to be eaten. If he keeps this up, my descendants won't be able to thrive in this sheep flock anymore. <laughs>